Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your favorite witch on the internet, Emma the Enchantress. I've been really aware lately of working with planetary alignments and the moon cycles, days of the week, synchronizing with the alignments of space. I posted in my community section of YouTube from a YouTuber that I love a breakdown of the week and what they represent. I have started working my week around this. And for those other creators out there, leave a comment if you're another creator, or another entrepreneur. Try this out, leave a comment, let me know your experience with it. I feel so at ease, I am not feeling overwhelmed, I feel so refreshed. I'm just falling into the natural rhythm of the universe. Everything is energy. Energy around the month of February is very feminine, very slow very romanticized very soft girl era look for all the love in your life channel more love create more love be more love romanticize the hell out of february when you live a magical life your life is like a movie and you do start to feel like the main character and for someone who has been in abusive relationships trauma to the womb to the body to the heart space directed to face those things that you may have pushed away for so long or you may have ignored or brushed off because that was your coping mechanism at the time it's this your coping mechanism now is to feel and the month of February brings about all of those beautiful feelings. It gives you the space to do that. You have the power to pull yourself back up. You have the power to recreate your life. You have the power to change the narrative in your head that will change the narrative that you see in your life. I understand being stuck. I understand depression. I understand pain. There were times I didn't know if I was going to make it through. May that Emma rest in peace because I still love her. And as a single mom of three, I have a message to share with other single moms. We don't have too many people that we can rely on. We put such security in being able to rely on ourselves. So when that fades, exhaustion or overwhelm, we get really scared because we're like, well, who else can we rely on? Who are my kids supposed to rely on if they don't got me? So I see you, I feel you, and I'm telling you, enjoy the slowness of February. Enjoy all of the spiritual tickles and tingles and inspirations that you get while you're in your slow space. And think of slowness as sexy, passionate energy versus stagnation. Connect with my energy, check out my website. All the links are in my YouTube description. Universal love.